All right. So we got right here a section that's 231 square feet. Measurement is 14 by 16 and a half, I think. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna tear this off and put it all back and I'm not gonna like, I might be going a little bit quick because my girlfriend decided to schedule something on six, six o'clock on a Sunday and like, I don't have time for that. I don't get a day off, I don't get none of that stuff. So like, I can't believe she even did that. So I gotta hurry up and get done with this so we can try to make this appointment at six o'clock. So I'm gonna bust this out and uh, this video is mostly for, you know, people who wanna do uh, do their own garage or something or maybe a shed for themselves and then also uh, this is kind of like just a very simple uh, Kind of all-in-one thing. There's no pipes or vents or anything like that, but I will do the ridge cap on it and show you guys that too uh, So this is very simple and it's something that uh, other roofers can learn from too If I do something a little differently than they've been exposed to through companies or whatever that they work for so uh, We're gonna jump into this and I hope you all enjoy this I'm going to try to do not so much talking and I will be fast forwarding a lot of this stuff for you guys because nobody wants to watch a video for like an hour and 20 minutes or however long this takes me. It's two square off and on. I hope it, an hour is unrealistic. That guy down there tore off this section and dried it in and it took him until noon yesterday. And then the one guy came and shingled it only up to the vents and that took him three hours. So between the two of them, seven hours to get this off, dried in and shingled. I'm gonna try to get this off and on in under an hour, just cause, you know, shoot for the stars, right? So this is a little goofy because this is, uh, they shingled it left-handed, so I'm starting on the, their finish end, but that's where we're gonna go with it. And let's hope we don't run into any bad wood or anything. gutter apron and drip bed, so I won't be changing that. my neck already. Didn't even get a warm up set. I've just been shingling all day. Boy come to get you. Huh? Why don't you show the camera what time it is? Since I'm gonna be fast forwarding a lot of this. Can I see it real good? Could have ripped up, broke the pitchforks up and ripped right through this. But it's coming off real good on the stair step over right here on the other side. I figure I might as well nail pull. John, you might want to fix that tarp down there.
want to start pulling, I'm sure that's about enough. Keep it easy on yourself. This ice shield pretty forgiving. By the way, this is one thing you're not going to see those guys in the polo t-shirts with the big old bellies, bigger than mine anyway. You ain't going to see them teach you how to roof like this. They're going to be, they're going to have stages set up at the gutter line. Just talk you through it while a bunch of Mexicans whack it off, you know. So this is some real stuff from a real roofer. If you guys don't like me, that's fine. But at least respect that, please. Thank you. <laughs> Can't wait for the comment. <laughs> I'd have had one of my Mexicans. He's nine years old. He'd have thing off and on in 35 minutes. That'll make for a nice thumbnail. <laughs> the gun but that's just temporary so nails don't go underneath it more of a pain in the ass to clean it when they're underneath it I thought this would come from plywood it's just ice shield that's why you gotta cut your bubbles back so I'm thankful for that
lot of people have been knocking your filming skills. A lot. Oh, you're just reacting? I thought you might hit a button or something. Oh, 15% man. What's that, battery? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm trying to be safe. And I don't want all this to go into the gutter apron, but I want to slap it down. This ain't one of those not far falls. This one's a legit one. Ooh, let me get a little, a little look down. See this trick right here? Open part. Yeah, the closed part. Had a bee on me. The reason I'm not just tearing it all off is because it's going to come up like like ass. Uh, you're allowed to go over ice shield. It's one layer. So. Okay. We're about ready. I should have, could have brought the blower up. What's the time on that boy cub on your phone now? Do you remember what the time was before? Do you remember what the time 245. Was? Huh? 245. That's all it is right now? That's what time it was when I uh Oh, what time is it now? 318. I don't know, I'm probably wrong. 318, it was 245? Probably not, I don't know. 15, 30 minutes then? What's the time on the on the thing say? On the recorder? Oh, duh, 30 minutes. Is it 30 minutes exactly? 30 minutes exactly in 30 seconds. Okay, then it probably was, probably was two or three minutes before I said that. So. Oh, look at that beautiful background. <laughs> Shoot 
shoot down the battery. Hey, John! John! Can you fire up that compressor? It's only a 412 up here. A lot of people say you're supposed to encase the felt nice shield with the drip edge. That's probably true. I don't think it's a big deal though, especially because we're not changing it. Pull it all off. Just, just to uh, put it back on right where it's at. Been doing it for years, never had an issue. Unless your code calls for it, you guys shouldn't listen to me. Christ, they're just gonna watch a stagnant corner. Yeah. I mean, fuck. <laughs> I know I'm not doing much, but dang. Oh, you're just shining in that light. Listening. Shining. Get a close up on that. Oh, 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 ow! Let's put a few tacks in it. Only, it's not real important. It's because I'm going to be slapping shingles on it. It won't be able to move. I usually say, if you're going off the bottom, you should be safe going off the bottom. Go the other way. Here's another trick you guys can do. Get this roll tight. You roll it right along that drip edge. It doesn't leave a mark, but it'll leave a line on this drip edge and uh, or on the ice shield. And you can cut that, and that should be pretty much perfect.
course they won't. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't, a whole sensible little round table wouldn't matter. I just got that whole session probably wouldn't talk. <laughs> you just gonna take that totally the wrong way. This belt is a really for tables, which means it's allowed to be used. So let me just put that before you. Got this really dull blade and it still cuts okay. I got a, one of them dual knives where I have a hook blade and a straight blade. All in one knife. Makes it easier to uh, open my bundles with the straight blade. Cut felt with the straight blade. Use my hook blade for ice shield and shingles. Okay, before I start shingling though, I want to tell you guys, I got enough starter to get across the bottom and maybe a piece or two on the sides. I'm going to have to use tops for that. So if that's going to turn you off, you might as well turn the video off. But a lot of people are even saying on there, why do you use starter up the side? You don't have to do that. Like it's, I like to, and I'm pretty sure you should. But I know it's not the end of the world if I don't have starters up my up my bleeder edge. Hey, John's talking to you. What's up? John, you calling me? Did you say Hi. something? Did you say something to me? I did. Okay. Were you talking about it on the phone? He's just talking to himself. Oh god. He's doing that again. I just warned him. I'm writing him up for that shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I hope they can hear it. Not sure I had some shorties in here. They're still up there. Yeah. So I like to start with a shorty so it offsets my stagger. And uh, normally, normally on something like this, I won't snap a line. So I'm not going to, just because it's so short. But most of the time, I do snap a line. I need a space for my uh, seam, and then I'll shoot a nail there. Give some of these shingles that have been on top of uh, one another, give them time to uh, flatten out. 
I put that the right way? Yeah, I think I did. I try to put them the way that I like them. Which is reveal side down. All right, that's enough for now. Let's get my coil spread. Because I don't like to see one pouch on, there's no need. <coughs> Oil. Two if you include cap. How long have you been filming for? Uh, about three years. Shut up. <laughs> uh, 44 minutes. And 22 seconds. Uh, no, it's alright, thank you. I'm going to use it for the cap, though. John! quarter inch overhang if it doesn't look like it it's because of the camera angles I'm so tired of people saying shit but it's really the camera angle I do a bit of a shorter overhang here and I always try to put that starter towards the end that way I can kind of miter that off a little bit and expose more of the tar line. So, this one on this side. Under wrappers, really. What is that? One, two, three, four, five. That means I can cut five for my ridge at least, or for my up oh, my sides. Save these for the top. It's not typical of me, so just don't sit here judging me. I'm really actually gonna lose sleep over having to do this, you know? I don't like I don't like having this on my mind. Oh, I can barely see now. Huh? I can barely see. Why? I can't see. Did it go to 5%? Yeah. Are you Copenhagen makes beef jerky now. Instead of chewing it though, because I'm not hungry, I just like to let it sit here. Oh yeah, that's nice. Real nice? Damn, your quality is way better. Is it? I think so. That's just what I love to hear. <laughs> when you're the reason I don't have a charged phone. Oh, there goes the sun. And down. Oh, no, it's not bad, dude. It's good. I'm sure it's fine. Ugh. 
about the smallest piece I'll ever let fly as a finisher.
these rubber bands coming off this thing, off all these coils. And do they just not, yeah, some of them do, some of them don't. Might have to waste like four shingles. Too aggressive, huh? Coils. You can hear it on the sound.
don't know why this stuff has such a bad, uh, the drip edge got such a bad curve to it. Give my back a break, and I was thinking about grabbing bundles. I don't know what I was thinking. every opportunity you can to stretch out that back. Usually I do it in between uh, opening bundles a little bit, but I gotta run and grab them, so that sucks.
I didn't even realize they were all scrap. Ah, shit. And nail's too close. Twenty-five. Twenty-five minutes? That's all it took. That's not that bad. Not that good either. That's the other half and not that bad. Spares he had. <sighs> Pay attention, boy cub. They need good filming. That's why I always set my bundles a certain way so you don't gotta do this spin. Or a flop. If you set them the wrong way, you gotta do a spin and a flop. <laughs> I'm serious. That's why I do this. Get the same every time. More stupid motion. There's already enough motion. Wasted movement. Exactly. I am a master of wasted movement. I hate it. Not as bad as that frog I saw die earlier. <laughs> How do you know he died so serious? Dude, he jumped off the roof and hit the fucking. Oh, it's almost perfect. Hit that window, bay. Hit that bay window. Sorry, boy, yep, you never you are. Don't care about frogs. No, not as much as you did. I mean, really, he did it. With, he did it to himself, right? One of my sergeants in Afghanistan's favorite thing to say. Get what you get when you do what you do. It's the simplest term. But we do a lot of dumb shit and don't understand why we get the results in life we get. <laughs> that dumbass frog jumped. What was he thinking? Oh, I'm forgetting to use these up. See, I'm not used to having this dumb stuff go on, on my job site. I ordered three, three bundles of starter. Thought that'd be plenty. Thought I'd have some spares anyway in the trailer.
four shingles right where I need to put a whole bundle. Wasted movement. right there. I put six, so I gotta do this little thing, create where my starter is. Not, it's really not going to do me no good. I might as well just right, screw those shoes. <laughs> I'm just going to have to get into that bundle anyway. It don't matter. Yeah, he better not leave us without a letter. He ain't leaving. No, he's doing shit. Yeah.
works. See you sitting down, boy. Cover you. You tired? <laughs> Where'd you do over there? <laughs> Screwed up on the last shingle. Maybe I don't gotta get into that last bunion. Oh man, I got a bad bunion on my foot. What? You gonna say that in front of thousands? <laughs> just reaching millions. Oh, here we go. Now I'm not about to use the shingle I tore up. You'll see. But now, there she is, I believe. That's not it, this one is. Oh no, we didn't bring the cap up here. All right, that's fine anyway. Pause. Nope. Let me finish cleaning off the boot real quick. And uh... I was joking about the bunion, by the way. <laughs> Can't take it back now, boy. Everybody's gonna call you a liar. Now you do gotta create that account called Boy Cub. Go on there and defend yourself. Look at this together. See how everything turned out. No frown or smile, as you can probably see in the background. A whole bunch of theirs do. Quick shiner check. We're just gonna close up. Looking for shiners. That's not one, that's not one. Shiners. None, buddy. All right, everybody. I hope you learned something. I have fun making these videos, so I hope you guys enjoy watching them. If you haven't already hit that like button, make sure you do it. If you haven't subscribed, you better do that too. <laughs> Get out of here. Right, I'm not Get cutting it. <laughs> <laughs> You're so handsome with them glasses, though.